Since I've been living here, I've been like having pieces of clothes missing, like shirts, pants. Items disappearing and prints left behind. I have a handprint on my bathroom wall, like, and on my mirror. But it wasn't until Saturday that Maddie, a junior at UNCG, uncovered a mystery that she and her roommates thought was a ghost. And I just hear rattling in my closet, like it sounds like a raccoon is in my closet. Put my hand on the knob, and I'm like, who's in here? And if somebody answers me, he's like, oh, my name's Drew. So I open the door, and he's in there wearing all of my clothes, my socks, my shoes, has a book bag full of my clothes. Police say that was 30-year-old Andrew Swafford, the same man you see appearing via video conference from the Guilford County Jail. He had these pants on. Like actually on his body. Maddie called her boyfriend, and as she calmly waited for help, she talked with Swafford to keep him distracted. Bathroom, he tries on my hat, goes to my bathroom, looks in his in the mirror. He asked, like, he was like, You're really pretty, can I hug you? But he never touched me. The big question the girls are trying to get answered how he got inside. They tell me their doors are always locked and they did not see any damage to them. But what really scares the girls is that men have entered their apartment before. It was two guys in the living room. That was December 19th. The girls alerted the leasing office. An employee confirmed they changed the locks at that time, but did not file a police report. I was told that is standard protocol. But Maddie and her roommate say they can't take it anymore. Last night I did not feel safe. I slept with my roommate in her bed. I can't stay here like my closet. It stinks. <laughs> I don't like, every time I go in there, it's like, uh, I just like, it's a bad vibe. That's why I'm ready to just leave.